Hello everybody, welcome to Dripper Drone 11. We're doing it early this month. In previous months, I've waited kind of till the end of the month to do it. This month, however, basically from the middle of this month to the middle of July, I'm going to be going on vacation and just sort of taking a break from YouTube in general. I know I haven't been uploading like regularly anyways, <laughs> but specifically I want a solid month long chunk of just nothing. Don't have to worry about anything. Mid June to mid July, I'm just going to be completely absent. And then starting mid July, I'm going to jump into daily uploads like I did last summer. Basically, Basically what that means is that we're doing the dripper down early so I can deal with it because I still don't want to lose the once a month streak that I've been got going on. What break do you need? You haven't been uploading. I've also been in college. So that too. We should probably get started. Yes, I should probably clarify. We have one gimmick for today. I'm if he does that again, I'm banning him. Basically, we have one gimmick for today. Uh, the gimmick is as follows. If we see an unusual effect, you're banned. Uh, this is a pretty minor gimmick. It's pretty niche. But specifically, I just want to see what happens if we ban an unusual effect. Because I feel like it'll force people to get just a little bit more creative, you know? Because if we ban unusual effects, things are going to look less cool in general. Subsequently, people are going to have to come up with cleverer loadouts. Now that we've got that out of the way, the map we are on. I was just looking through the Steam Workshop earlier, and I saw this. Abandoned Turbine is the name of the map. First Personally, I think it's pretty cool. It's basically just turbine, but the map has decayed after 100,000 years. I don't know, I, I kind of like it. Rustic feel to some parts of it, sort of an almost scary part to others with flickering lights. Wide open area reminiscent of Jungle Inferno. And we're just going to be right here in the middle of the plants because it's cool. Um, That's a drown. Goodbye. I'll see you in 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> what should the password be? Pleb. Pleb? Yeah. All right. It's the poor stream. No unusual. <laughs> SV. Password. Pleb. With a capital P. The password has been initiated. You can now connect. So a line is going to form up right here, going down the center, coming out the main area. Me and Steel are going to be here judging people. Uh, Mac is basically on police duty. Obviously, join red if we see you on blue. You're dead. If you don't know the IP, the IP is in my Discord rules channel. It's also in the description of, like, every one of my YouTube videos. I just fucking looked over Twitch chat. Web is not allowed by Automod. Holy fuck, that's funny. Oh, that <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, apparently pleb it was a banned term. So people are trying to tell each other the password and they're just... The password is banned. <laughs> oh, one more thing before we get started. Look at this hat. This isn't the usual hat that I've been wearing, but I have a custom mod that this is the first time I've ever installed a mod for TF2. Literally ever. All it does is replaces the tundra top with this hat that says save TF2. That's literally it. Uh, you guys might have seen it before because I know I showed it off at another event a couple weeks ago, but I just figured I'd show it off here because it's pretty cool. Captain Calcium 360 says, Sam, I have returned and it is my birthday. Happy uh... birthday, Captain Calcium. Now, you stupid git, did you get your hat? <laughs> I think we should probably get started. So let's begin. Zerif. So this guy, this map maker guy, he has the Strange Fireman's Essentials. So credit where credit's due. I haven't seen that one before. Like, literally ever. Uh, he only has the stunning hot case though. So I see that cosmetic way too often. Though I do like how it's combined with the brigade yeah. helm. Yeah, I have it used with the like detective style hat in combination with that. But this does give a more suitable fireman look. I like it. Yeah, true. That's a solid fireman loadout. I'm feeling slight drip. Yeah, drip. Uh, I'm not going to be looking at those names and descriptions because I haven't seen Kenobi yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I'm going to watch it over the next week or so, but I don't yeah, want spoilers. He has a macaw masked, but it's not a single color macaw masked. If it's not a single color macaw masked, I feel like that's just appealing to things that I've said in past Tripper Drones. Probably closer you could do for Lightsaber 2. I say we ban this guy for being a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I Get out of here. Troll. Who's this mm. guy? I bet he sounds like a squeaker. Yeah, that's a drone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. That guy just banned. He's actually a Discord mod. It's fine. <laughs> Master Builder, but red. This is a reference to something. Hold up. Let me open my Clash of Clans. I don't know if you guys know. I play Clash of Clans a lot. Like, it's one of the only mobile games. That and Polytopia are the only mobile games that I actually really play. Clash of Clans. I'm... You know, I, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. That's... Barnstormer. Can you die that one? I don't know if you can die that one. But if you can, it would be better off died. But aside from that, that's definitely a good loadout. Though a solid reference, that's going to be a drip for me. The heaviest light weapons guy. All right. Standard fat scout loadout. Anything else notable? <laughs> Little man said he could outrun me. He did not. Okay. You know, I, I think that sells it. The description on yeah. the bat out of hell. That's yeah, the that's one true. redeeming feature of this loadout. Yeah, true. This crits your thought. I don't know. I, I don't know if that was a crit. I, I think we should... <laughs> it's a reference, guys. Magical chicken. Oh, it's a payday reference. Yeah. And he has a Harry <laughs> Potter hat, too. <laughs> That's so cool. Look, look okay. at this payday oh, reference. Very cool. Okay, real talk. Guys, the, the drill. 
Go get it. Kind of tempted to use O degrade as the background for this video. Real talk, this loadout is entirely mediocre. There's no reason for the boom yeah. boxes to be there, and it's covered by the iPad. The chicken and the other hat just don't go together well. I am leaning drone. King Electic, that name sounds familiar. Unusual oh. band. Except Iron Gob Grimlock. Why does that sound familiar? Oh. Grimlock. Oh, Grimlock. Transformer dinosaur. Oh! oh! Dude! <laughs> okay, okay. Old Transformers cartoons. It's been like a Fuck, decade yeah. since I've seen those, but those yeah. were actually pretty good. Cool. Okay, I feel like this is supposed to be an orc loadout. Yeah. Because I'm looking at all these, it speaks like orcish. His zombie thing is named Fungus Boy. And he's nodding. Okay. Oh, yeah. Speed boost, red go vroom. Yes, that is yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're right. definitely orc. Oh, they're saying it's a Warhammer cool. reference. War Chief Grimlock from Space Marines. Okay. That's dripped up. <laughs> Chief, I don't know how to break this to you, but I use AAA. <laughs> so, all right, you decide this one. I still recognize that's a drip. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, hell yeah. So, the conservation. He's about to get political. Cover yours, guys. No, I'm not about to get political. I mean, I, I could, <laughs> but I'm not. So this is a good loadout, but it doesn't have custom names, and the only custom description is something relating to heavy. It feels like a hastily assembled loadout. Yeah, Plus the commissar's coat. I don't know if that's right for a teddy loadout. But aside yeah. from that, the combination, specifically just the Soviet gentleman and the, the game glasses, that's good for the, a teddy loadout. Yeah, I like it. So yeah. feeling slight. Yeah, ever so slight. There's not, there's not, I don't think there's any other like military torso because Peak dad performance. As the dad does, the scotch saver, and the towering pillar of summer shades. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's an incredibly expensive cosmetic. You remember the guy in the last Ripper's Round who's like eight-eyed scout, and he had a fish, he had the corpse carrier, and he had glasses? Imagine doing that loadout, or that gimmick, but with this hat. So like, sixteen-eyed scout. Okay. I'm leaning slight drown, because I feel like the glasses thing sort of work against the whole peak dad performance gimmick. Yeah, that's fair. Aside Aside from the glasses, yeah. it would be drip. Yeah, fair enough. Escaping to the one place! How about this? How about you go tell me what you find up there? See ya. <laughs> America's 305th best American. All right, so, quick story. Uh, the Patriot's pouches, that cosmetic that he's wearing, that is the first thing I remember formally unboxing in this game. When I first got into TF2, I was a free-to-play for quite a while. Gosh darn it. I was afraid to play for quite a while, but if eventually I wanted to just buy something just to see what would happen. So I bought a crate and a key, and this is the one thing that I got, the Patriots pouches. I do have a little bit of nostalgia value for that one, but aside from that, though, I, I'm not seeing anything significant about this loadout. Like, he has the orange dyed, not the toy soldier, I, I don't know what that one is. I don't know, the orange dye on that doesn't work with the rest of the cosmetics. There's too many color conflicts going on. It's nice so for all, but... It's just not good enough with the colors. Yeah, it's fine. Like like yeah, the slime. The so he's wearing a cauldron. He has slime mutton chops, calamitous cauldron, and pyrovision goggles. That's actually really interesting. Crouch down and then look up into the pot. Oh, no, no, not <laughs> you crouch down. <laughs> That's actually really interesting that you can get that sort of effect with the calamitous cauldron. Because yeah. I've never seen the calamitous cauldron used in like a way that actually seems interesting. But combining it with the lime mutton chops and then making it say the slime as the name, it actually gives off an interesting feel to it. I'm leaning slight drip for creativity. Not sure. What the, what the upgrade's doing there. I feel like we should ban him for that ambassador description, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should get him for that yeah, one. Fair yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Does he get it? You approached oh, with the spy crab. Do you get it? He didn't even try for the spy crab taunt. That's a point against him. Aside from that, Australian gold assassin's attire plus Australian gold made man. That's a great combo. I like yeah, that. Yeah, not sure with the hat, but yeah. I like it for the torso. I that's agree. Good. That's a good torso combo. Yeah. Slide drip? Yeah, slide drip. All right. We haven't seen anything yeah. that's really like astonishing yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah, because no unusual is going to be a bit harder. Okay, I'm going to be entirely honest. We've seen two loadouts already that look too much like this one. Yeah, like, especially past stripper drones last one I remember there was like some sort of cod Russian reference. This looks too similar. Is that is that the exact guy we saw in the last one actually? Maybe, I don't know. Someone said bro is that Nikolai from COD. Is didn't we literally see this exact I think so, gimmick? Yeah. Alright, well that's a repeat gimmick from a past dripper drown. That is literally theft. I hate to break it to you, but goodbye. Purple Paladin Commander. That's a horrifying thing on the sign. Yeah, drown. Okay, I'm gonna agree on the drown, but before I do that I have to say that is great color coordination. For the Pyro that's actually pretty good. But I'm still gonna Purple. try it because yeah. I hate the side. The purple team. <laughs> well then, <laughs> oh, it's about <laughs> time. <laughs>
Well, Senate Minority you. Leader Mitch McConnell appears yeah. for Drip or Drown 11. He is here to stall votes and eat poor people. <laughs> drip for that, drip for that. That's really cursed, too. Using a team-colored Manco cap to get a red Manco cap so it makes it look like a Naga hat. That's yeah. so cursed. Okay. But in a clever way. It's cursed, but clever. Gosh. Okay. The apology. What this is... Next up, Gabe Newell. Naughty. Hmm. So, um, next... hold up. So when's the next update? Nine distinct classes provide a broad range of tactical abilities and personalities. Constantly updated with new game modes, maps, equipment, and most importantly, hats. This is the most fun you can have online. PC game is now free. There's no catch. Play as much as you want, as long as you like. The most highly rated free game of all time. One of the most popular online action games of all time. Fortress 2 delivers constant free updates. New game modes, maps, equipment, and most importantly, hats. Nine distinct classes provide a broad range of tactical abilities and personalities and lend themselves to a variety of player skills. New to TF? Don't sweat it. No matter what your style and experience, we've got a character for you. Detailed training and offline practice modes will help you hone your skills before jumping into one of TF2's many game modes, including capture the flag, control point, Payload, Arena, King of the Hill, and more. Make a character of your own. There are hundreds of weapons, hats, and more to collect, craft, buy, and trade. Tweak your favorite class to suit your gameplay style and personal taste. You don't need to pay to win. Virtually all of the items in the Manco store can also be found in-game. Constantly updated with new game modes, maps, equipment, and most importantly, hats. Now then, with that context out of the way, I have a question. Constantly updated with new game modes, maps, and most importantly, hats. Why is it that when I logged in, I found a winter 2021 cosmetic case it is june <laughs> <laughs> ah, how about you update yeah. your bloody game <laughs> not pablo escobar <laughs> we've seen this already <laughs> yeah i'm gonna drown it it's just because it's a repeat gimmick but credit where credit's due the original was good the man with a big joey minigun quotes i bought this off big joey for 50 dollars and it was worth every penny Kill streaks active gift from Big Joe. So Spencer, how do you feel about people who make other YouTubers their entire personalities? Yeah. Next up, <laughs> uh, random baseball player. I I think he just yeah, struck okay. out. Honestly, <laughs> never seen that before. The hot heels, batter's helmet. You don't see that one often. Smith Smith sweater scatter gun. I think we give this one to Chat. Chat. Yeah. What do we do about the baseball player? It's so like slight majority drip. Sudden burst of a lot of drowns, and the drips are coming back. It seems pretty even. I think we have to let RNG decide. Uh, All right, it's to break it to you, pal, but uh, see you around. Egg bully, handsome devil. The handsome devil painted white. It just occurred to me, you could make an SCP joke out of that. Like with, uh, what is it, 035, I think? Aside from that, the misfortune fedora. You know, I like it. Yeah, I, 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 I think this most, is good. I got no strong opinions on it. The Frenchman's formals, the colors align nicely with the other one, which is a white yeah. dyed handsome mask and a black dyed misfortune fedora. The combination of white and black, I think it, it all just works. So this just seems to be a mediocre detective loadout. Yeah. I don't know. Th this this feels similar to a lot of things that we've seen in past Dripper Giants. If there were- Oh! Shit. Oh, okay, that changes things. That oh, changes geez. things. That's an instant drip. Just know this, I would drown you otherwise. However. <laughs> Next up. Nope, this is mine now. <laughs> and now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go down here, and y'all are going to see what this little box is, because I've not been on this map before, and I don't know what this box is. I'm guessing it's probably a comp room, because they stick those on some map. Yeah, it looks like it's a comp room. There we go. See if people can pick that up now. Spoiler alert, if you pick up the intel, I'm banning you. Right. By the way, that engineer, before I ban him, he had a... I think that's a golden wrench. That's a... <laughs> Waste of wrench. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the Ooh. Pyro King. Hmm. King Pyro's golden uh, flamethrower, the royal detonator. Yeah, I've never seen someone attempt a royalty loadout. Honestly, just a medieval loadout of any kind for Pyro, but this actually kind of works. Yeah. A suspiciously moist carpet. Tacky gone commando number 49. Have I ever seen those pants before? Like, obviously, it looks like these are supposed to be a set, the tacky thing and then the Siberian Tiger Stripe, but with the black team captain too? I'm letting drip on this. This is just a good heavy loadout. Okay, it's a joke, I swear. What's this reference? Edgy snipers. He only has one cosmetic and it's the dread hiding hood. Is this just trying to be like edgy? Is that it? Well, I guess. Drown. Yeah, I agree. McDonald's worker? <laughs> Man, yeah. credit to McDonald's workers everywhere. You guys have to put up with a lot of crap just to get paid low. Like, you have my respect. Energy drink. Five hour energy, but I 
drink it every hour. That sounds like a McDonald's employee. <laughs> yeah. Festive fish. This is inedible. Pirate Panda, get back to work. Stop watching a TF2 fashion show while you're at work. Come on. <laughs> Sir Daniel Fortesque of Medieval. Here's the thing, Wait. right? He spelled Medieval wrong. Well, is that on purpose? Because it's medieval. Mm. Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah. man, I'm tired. Oh, that's catching up with me quick. I'm gonna be honest. We might have to cut this dripper grind short. Like, not right now short, but only one wave of reinforcements afterwards. Um, yeah. I say drip. I'm Actually. leaning drown. Uh -oh. I say drown because, uh, zombie... <laughs> Head shake. <laughs> He's um, I don't know. We've just seen too many things like it, and the charge and targe just feels. I I'm too used to it at this point. But there's disagreement, which means it goes to chat. Chat, Look drip or drown. Med Wait a minute. Look up medieval. Okay, apparently I'm in the wrong. Vast majority of people are saying drip. Okay, also, charge and targe works with this. I love democracy. Hoagie Hank. Hank's helpful hoagie. A handy hoagie. What? what Glamorous fuck? sandwich safe. Hank's hoagie Wait. holder. <laughs> <laughs> what the frick what is the this? Fuck is <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is actually pretty funny. Yeah, like, fair it's simple, but <laughs> this is one of those ones where it's stupid, but somehow it's actually gotten me to smile. Fair enough, yeah. Gosh darn it. Uh, help, my monitor is turned off. <sighs> All right, so here's the thing, right? I would have given that guy drip because it looks like a good loadout, yeah. but this is a repeat of the, uh, the I can't Ugh. see gimmick from yeah. last dripper drone. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah. repeat gimmick, which is unfortunate because that's a great loadout. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my unusual has been <laughs> stolen. That's great this because you would have been banned if you had an unusual. What do you say? Um, Neutral leaning, slight negative. Yeah, slight drown. The iron incinerator. What is this? What's that backpack? No. Oh. Space dive. Have her genuine scrap pack. Why let your front have all the fun? Add more junk to the upper part of your trunk with this selection from the finest junkyards in Paris. Wait a minute, so he's French? Bob, Bob. I gave him drip, by the way. Like, that, that was yeah, a good load. Good, that was good. Um, mm. hmm. Is this guy trying to impersonate candy? Probably, yeah. Yeah, he literally is. Red candy like, man. I already banned candy earlier and he had the same thing. Yeah. You can't stop me because I can't read is the name of the solemn vow. It's actually candy. <laughs> it's <really good. laughs> what? What the fuck is he doing here? We already banned him. How is he back? Okay, I don't know who this guy is, but he's actually based. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give him drip on this. Yes, I'm giving drip to a guy impersonating a Discord mod, but I already banned the Discord mod himself, yeah. so I'm fine with it. Anyways, average Krieg fan. Oh, I'm yeah. completely okay. neutral on this. You decide. I say drip. This, this is very close to the Corbin of Krieg. Yeah. Okay. Captain. Oh. It's about time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Have we had a proper Captain Haddock loadout at any point in I, Dripper Drone? I don't think so, no. So this is the first time someone's actually doing Captain Haddock, no matter how many times we said in the past that things remind us of it. Yeah. Man, Tintin is uh, just good. I watched the 3D animated movie fairly recently. I need to see that. Yeah, it was good. Add that to my bucket that, list of things that yeah. I have to see because I don't see anything because I just sit indoors and watch YouTube all day. Because you're blind. Exactly. I have no eyes. Here, let me ban the entire line by accident. Uh, Super Ghostbusters? Uh, wow. That's a lot of mediocre stuff. Can we ban this yeah, guy yeah no drown. that's crazy goodbye <laughs> right he has the hot case so that's an original macabre mask it doesn't work well with the hot case yeah weapons uh, are all over the place candelier not sure why that's there i'm leaning drown. yeah no, drown it. nothing special about it sorry terrarian now with gills gills patio gills potio i wonder what a potio is chat can you explain to me what a gills potio is like obviously it's supposed to be a terraria reference but i i don't know what a gills potio is potio well, that doesn't i, I think we should... said he missed the end. You weren't supposed to call it out explicitly. <laughs> I don't know the reference, okay? Play Terraria. Right. Uh, this is just mediocre in general. I'm leaning banned. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Right. Hashtag mm. save TF2, it says on the sign, but you can barely see it because the lighting is on crack cocaine. So yeah. <laughs> well, I see what he's supposed to be because you have the mod yeah. installed. I have the very <laughs> specific so mod that changes this one hat, so I don't know what he's supposed to be. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. So you're saying he's supposed? he looks like the thing he's supposed to. Yeah. Dumpster defender, so it's just a raccoon. <laughs> Great eyed puller pullover. That's I don't know how to feel about the Patriots patches. Yeah, that's a bit. I like odd. the attempt with the rack man and the gray polar pullover, yeah. but I think the Patriots pouches, it just ruins That's, it. It's a bit off, yeah. I'm leaning slight drone. The yeah. usually <laughs> usual ape. Okay, have we ever actually just seen a Yeti? All of Dripper Drone, so, no. every episode, has anyone shown up? 
No. Chat, I don't remember my own videos, so I need you to <laughs> tell me if there's anyone yes, here who remembers it. No, just saying no one drip, time. Just bits of it drip unusual. No, I don't think so. Nah, no, okay. nope, nope. No one has the original. Nope, no. Nope, so if this nope, is nope, literally nope. the first and only time we've ever oh. seen just. This one guy gets it. Yeah. Any normal Yeti loadouts we see in the future, automatic drown. But I can't remember a single time we've seen one of these. Uh, Moonbase Survivor. Bread burner. Better dead than bread. <laughs> That's good. All right. Oh, the Deus Specs. Forgot about that. That's a good effect for the eyes. Mm. Secondaries renamed Welding Tool. I don't know. I think Drip. I it's like this. Good. I agree with Drip. I just wish there was a bit more going into the bread space references. Because, like, yeah, you have a know. solid loadout and gimmick going. You could do more. But I think this is enough. This is Drip. So remember how we said at the start of the stream anyone with unusuals were just banning yeah which is a real shame because this is otherwise a great loadout so uh yeah see you around bye we and now that i've said that i'm also gonna go over here you you have an unusual <laughs> goodbye i'm not seeing any other unusuals so uh yeah. pebbles Medic and detective ah uh, he has fabulous pebbles the penguin speaking of what? pebbles the penguin i really need torso. to do another pacifist spy does some trolling one what's with the torso cosmetic though with that the metal armor it, it doesn't fit yeah like remove that and he'd be good yeah 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 slide drive i hate walls Okay. <laughs> I think we should run this guy. Yeah. I haven't seen the Griffin's Gog at any point in my entire life, literally ever. But aside from that, that's a yeah. that's a mediocre gimmick he, and too close to other it's things. A, it's, a, it's a decent acting though, more yeah. than we've seen before. Smet nineteen. Unusual. <laughs> yeah. So the seventy chapeau, Bye, strange you, yeah. haunted wings of purity, Miss Machine. This guy is using a Smith Smith sweater midi gun. Yeah. So uh, and aside also, from that, mediocre loadout. Yeah. So uh, this is a drone, I think. Yeah. yeah. yeah also behind you. Dr. Robotnik. Now, I haven't actually seen the Sonic 2 movie because I've been trying to see it with a few friends and the schedules yeah. have not lined up yet. So yeah. I feel like we should ban this guy for spoilers as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Reminds me of you. I can't see a single notable thing about this, so I'm just going to ban yep. Tortoise. Somehow, I don't feel like that's a tortoise. I don't, yeah, no. I don't she says it's a fucking engineer tortoise loadout. Wanna know the best part? Yeah. We're not even on turbine crocodile either. Yeah, no. Get out of here. Drown it. I'm actually leaning drip on this one. I don't think we've ever seen the full uh, Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Loadout for this. I know we've seen some of it as like a dragon loadout, which I thought was cool. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool when he died the head. Yeah, back. but yeah, fair enough. Drip then. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> he has a golden wrench too. That's the second golden wrench we've seen today they're like super rare too so um australian painted in general this is a good loadout you can see the uh, australian sombrero in general i like this uh so uh yeah, drip. <laughs> lime grimster interesting i was not aware you could paint the gruesome gourd that's an interesting effect oh. is the ghastly arrest give us two which is kind of rare i don't know i'm neutral on this it's a slight drip all right just nice. that's fair. as far as lime <laughs> loadouts go <laughs> civil century all right the fucking century cuts taken off wow gosh darn it we haven't actually seen any uh, fashion clan members today either. Like, there's been a complete absence of the fashion clans. We saw the one iron there. Oh, true. There I was think, one iron yeah, guy. The buyer, yeah, but yeah. other than that. Civil Century, he doesn't have the cute suit, which is kind of necessary for the Century loadout because it yeah. hides the rest of the face. Yeah, though, with his loadout, it would be difficult to pull Civil otherwise. Fair. That's also a good pistol to have with it. Yeah. Uh, Black That's... Dahlia pistol field tested. That's really good. I like that. Yeah, I'd say drip. Okay, slight drip. Though I'm not sure it would fulfill the whole Century. Thing. Cloud five six seven eight. What is that? Sengoku Scorcher. Have I ever seen that? Oh. I don't think I've ever seen that. That cosmetic he's wearing on the body. Yeah. That's a oh, really yeah, freaking good cosmetic. Holy crap! I'm gonna need to get me one of those after the stream. That's good. Yeah. I got no opinions on this one. I'm leaning trip. I All think right. the combination of the purple is good on this one. Fair enough. Though the purple is like pulsing for me. It's like going from dull to bright. Oh shoot! Yeah, he has a uh, Halloween spell paint added to it, which is something oh. very rare. You don't see those often, and they're only applicable on certain cosmetics. Well, and, that's a drip for me, then. And he has he has it on the Executioner as well. Two spells, yeah. actually, on the Executioner. Yeah. So, God holy damn. crap. All right, fair enough. I say drip. I say drip. You can see it fading to different that's, shades. Yeah, Ow. that sold me. Okay. That's really good. Like, it goes all the way down to almost black and then all the way back up to yeah. almost violet. I thought that was just a glitch at first. I'm not going to lie. No, that's completely deliberate. It's a very subtle yeah. thing, but it's really cool when you see it. Yeah, all right. So 
Soldier Sorcerer Arcane Ooh. Alliance. Magic clan. Interesting. A magician focused fashion clan. Haven't heard of that. Although, I, like I suppose it. it was only a matter of time until it formed. Because it seems like a pretty natural thing. There's a lot of magician and wizard witch type loadouts you can get over a lot of different things. Yeah. In the name of starting a new fashion clan, the Arcane Alliance, let's go with it. Yeah. The Prison the Gnome. So, what about this says prison? I yeah, cannot man. see a single thing that says prison. Yeah, he yeah. does have a rather interesting little Indiana Jones esque idol thing down here. But aside from that, there's nothing that is even close to like prison. I don't know. I, I don't think it does it. Yeah, no. Though, if you were to put that gold on your wrench, then. <laughs> 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 Wandering yeah. Calcium. Interesting. So, this is going to be the first Calcium Clan guy we've seen today. Not sure that the bow tie fits, but. Oh, I didn't even notice the bow tie. I think it works. I like it. Yeah, all right, if you say so. A lot of a black and white thing going on here. Obviously, that's a fault of the bone loadout in general. But yeah. all things considered, I think this looks good. And I'm going to yeah. be honest, maybe it's just a refreshing change to see that pyro mask without a wide brim sombrero. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing specific, but wide brim yeah. sombreros in general. Like, not just the one you're thinking of, but the other ones as well. Because pyro has multiple wide brim sombreros. I just see a lot of those with this mask. So it's refreshing to see a small hat on top of it. Yeehaw. <laughs> or if you speak Spanish, yeehaw. <laughs> uh, nice looking rifle, though. Zealandium sniper rifle. I totally yeah, got this new good. weapon on my first tour. What do you mean it should be Australian? <laughs> Hand hammer, annoying people since Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, Interesting. It's, it yeah, it's been a while since we've seen just a cowboy loadout that actually works it's on a class fucking... that isn't engineer. Yeah, I like it. Especially with that rifle. That's clean. Yeah, that's good. Almost feels Fair. Fallout. Quack scoper. Okay, all three of his weapons are... Uh, they're all skinned. No. Okay, he only has two cosmetics, and I'm neutral on this for the reason that he doesn't have three cosmetics. There are other yeah, duck I... cosmetics he could have used or something like that, but... Plus, we've seen a lot of duck loadouts in the past, especially with the ones where it's like a don't tell the pigeon he's not actually a duck, it'll break his heart, that type of thing. We've seen that before. Yeah, mediocre. All right, slight drone, sorry. The king the himself. Kingdoms. A robe fit for a king. Oh! Oh, I see, I see. I understand now. All right, the king's crown. Why, yes, this is a crown and not a beanie at all. Why do you ask? <laughs> Prince DDD, the one true heir to the throne, or so we think. All right, I'm leading Drip just because I've had a lot of fun memories in the past of uh, playing Smash, going DDD, playing in a game with between four and eight players, and then just repeatedly up being, which is the one where it launches you in the air and then you come crashing down to the earth dealing massive AoE damage. That one attack, if used in multiplayer games, is so fun for stealing kills. So <laughs> that is my one scumbag reason for wanting to give this guy a trip. Fair enough. Anyways, uh, we have reached an hour, so I'm gonna cut off things. So I think, I think I might be able to summon enough energy. We can do one more wave after this. It's All gonna right. be tough, but I'll try to make it. So we, we can do one more wave. This isn't the end. But at this All point, right. we're gonna get through this one wave and get through everyone here. Then we're gonna do one last wave at the very end. Right. Spring boy trap. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> this is really cursed. And also, if you're gonna use the mask, you could have dyed the mask something else to make it fit with the... I think it's the air raider. Is that what that is? But yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> guy that guy moves, moves audio sorry. equipment. You know, this guy looks like a hippie. Yeah. But I think that's intentional. Like, he's one of the bandwagon type guys that moves all the equipment for the bigger bands. He doesn't play in the band itself, but he's a part of the crew. They all know him. Yeah, fair enough. I'm leaning slight drip on this. Like, I like yeah, it. Drip. Disgruntled Vietnam Vet MIA. Steak in November, Cold Front Curb Stompers, and Veterans Attire. Can't remember the last time I've seen the Veterans Attire. That's a really good soldier cosmetic. I wish I'd see that more often. Yeah, I, I like it. That will be a mark? slight drip. Yeti, you <laughs> came back from vacation. <laughs> huh. Okay, but here's the thing. Why are you wearing a pajama shirt? You could have worn the vacation shirt. Why are you wearing the pajamas? You had the choice between the vacation shirt and you chose the pajamas. Why? I want to know. Because you just got back. What? Did you wear pajamas on the flight? Did you drive immediately here? Like, what? Who Do I am? Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm neutral on it. I At least there is a plot drip. reason. Yeah, I say it's slight drip. All right. I'll go with that. But if we see any more Yetis, it's a drone. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Wordless. No interaction was needed. Just approval. Uh, that is really cursed. Yeah. The poopy dough combined with the thousand yard stare. I. That is despicable. Someone said, Sam, check your trade offers. What, what, what do you goblins do now? Huh, that's pretty cool. Right, I'll accept that. That saves me however much money I would have spent on that because I was going to get that anyways. Also, yes, I'm totally aware the guy literally just sent me an ad for his own Steam profile, but eh, whatever. He paid for it. <laughs> Does that make this a sponsorship? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh Anyways, back God. to the monkey. Uh, can we ban this guy? Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, Matt. Crits cast. I've heard of that before. Oh, no, there's a link. I don't want to know what that link is. I'll have to check it after the stream. I'm not checking it down. I'm not risking that. Anyone yeah, could send no. me any link to anything. It could be anything from a Rick roll to, like, something actually cool. you literally just NSFW that would get me you banned named everything Twitch. the right just bison except for the bison. Wait, Zerf says it's a site that just says, quote, you should drip me. That's it? That's but, literally yeah, it? I can check that. That's all it is. Mind. Fine, fine. I'll check it. Open incognito browser just to be safe. This guy. I've raided this guy on Twitch before. I recognize that. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> really? Okay, what did I misspell? Clearly that's on me. Oh, okay, I see now. I, uh... I understand. That's some... Um, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Why is there a caterpillar underneath your nose? I don't know. Chat, what yeah. do we do with this guy? There's a lot of people saying drip. I don't know if that's enough. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen a single drown, but I don't know if that's enough drips. Oh, uh, there's one <laughs> drip. <laughs> he just said in chat, do you hear the crowd chant, Sam <laughs> Alright, fine. Get off my server. That's a drip. <laughs> Moving on, Klaus Hamburg. Are we gonna get a historical lesson here? I searched Klaus Hamburg, the only thing that pops up. Klaus Stortebaker, historical piracy on the Elbe. So clearly that's not a historical lesson of any kind. All right, I have no idea who this is then. Um, yeah, no. All he has is a saw helm, and aside from that, Nothing. yeah. yeah. Sorry, guy from guy American from Psycho. Here's the thing, do we know that's a guy? I'm gonna drop a little bit of theory crafting on you guys. Here is oh, how no. I treat the pyro from Team Fortress 2. In relation to the comics, I think Pyro is a woman. In relation to the game, for all practical intents, I treat Pyro as a guy. Because in relation to the game is different from the comics. From a purely lore perspective, I genuinely believe Pyro is more likely a woman than a man. However, I still treat Pyro as a man in video games, because in video games, it's honestly, it's probably safer just to treat everyone as a guy. <laughs> so, uh, no, screw you, Zeref. I will not subscribe to that MatPat theory. That was so, that's such a stupid theory that MatPat did. Like, Wow, one of your fingers is longer than the other. That means you're gay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Aside from that, um, mediocre loadout. I don't really care. I'm leading drone. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, the Pyroland enthusiast. Okay. You know what? I'll give it to uh, him. We can't see the cosmetics because uh, we're not yeah, in Pyroland. Yeah, yeah. But he has the balloon okay, the rain blower, the lolly chop, and the infernal orchestra. Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. So we can't see any of this, but we know he has it, so. Yep. All right. <laughs> the Tobacco Night Jalen? Halon? However you pronounce that? Chat, is this a reference to something? Is it exclusively just because he has the pipe? Is that like the entire gimmick revolves around the pipe. It's a reference to cigarettes. Wow. It's a reference to smoking. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so uh, here's the thing, right? The smoking's bad for you. I rest my case. Next. <laughs> the achievement hunter. Oh, damn. I feel like, realistically, the achievement hunter would be more likely to have the military grade jack hat because yeah. that requires you to actually do something in TF2 to get it. The only way to get the frontline field recorder at this point is basically just to go on an achievement server and cheat it. Uh, that's literally it. Yeah, it, it's just too free to play. I don't know. I'm winning drone. Fair enough. Yeah, drone. I I, uh... What? He yeah. dodged it. Straight up, he just parried my ban <laughs> into another guy. I, I banned another guy because he parried it. What? <laughs> <laughs> apologize, but what the fuck? Um, so some other poor sap just got banned. Brown, yeah. Which kind of sucks because the guy's name was I Love My Little Shy Son, which sounded oh. like it would have been a really good, like, wholesome loadout, and we just don't yeah. get to see it now. <laughs> you just banned him. You ruined more. it. And moreover, I don't there have time to unban him. You! <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> I, I hit the ban button, but for his death. in the frame between my brain sending the signal to my finger to hit the ban key and it actually happening, he kill bound and now drown him. Back of the line. <laughs> now draw the fool. All right, here's the thing, though. Most other people, I feel, given the circumstances, would have either disconnected or took it in stride. He feels sorry for it, which is something I wasn't expecting. I'm going to give him drip for that, because that's a rare sense of empathy that you do not see in TF2, like, at all. TF2 has yeah. no empathy. So this one act of someone showing that they're sorry for doing something that screws over another person in TF2 instead of saying, dang, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm going to give that drip. Someone made a clip with the title, Parry this, please. 
<laughs> okay. All right, well, let's see if I can... Sensei Soldier. Why uh, doesn't he have the half set to eat you then? The Shaolin Sash works. The Fa Manchu works. The Vampire Vanquisher does not. Plus, he has the shovel, not the Zetoichi. Yeah, true. If it was Sensei, it should be Zetoichi. That's a fair point. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Medjed. Fancy Faction. Say this again. The concept of a fancy faction is freaking stupid. Like, granted, if you want to just have a bunch of people with suits, that could work. But, like, calling it a fancy faction. Eh, the Suit Squad. Know. Suit Squad. That, that's better. That's a better name, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give that a slight drip. Yeah. Weird Hat Man. Wow. That's crazy. Drowning. It's almost like most hats in TF2 are weird. I, okay, that is actually kind of interesting, combining the candy cantlers with the brain cane and that thing with the card, but yeah, it's not enough. Sorry. Yeah. A duck with that's teeth. Perfect. Okay, where's the teeth? I mean, that's a head, but that's not teeth. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, teeth. A duck there's with teeth. I, no I don't teeth. see teeth. Get out. Baxter Black. What's this a reference to? Baxter Black is an American cowboy for a large animal veterinarian. Huh. So I don't think it's a reference. Um, I, yeah. Immunotherapy, side effects, drowsiness, fatigue, constipation, zero blood cell counts, and death. What, what? about this is an American poet? Wait, 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 what? Look at the description on the solemn vow. How do you do that? No, the no is crossed out. What? Unicode chicanery. <laughs> Altogether, I think this is a good loadout. I like the sort of robot, sort of android feel it's given off. But in general, I want to know how to do that. Cause that's actually kind of cool. You say it's uh, just N with lines through it, but if that were the case, there'd be spaces. It'd be weird. It looks like it's physically going through it. You can see a little pokey parts on certain sides of the, the N and the O. Now that I can properly zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm seeing. How he do that? How he do that? That's funky. How he do that? Do harm. How he do that? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a trip. The Vampire Hunter. And and of course, he doesn't have the supernatural stalker because I've literally never seen a single soldier with the full loadout of this. It's always just bits and pieces of it. I like it. I think I like this it. does a good job. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, sure. Snake oh. beater. This guy looks familiar. Yeah. I wonder if this is a reference to something. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, it, it could be, but yeah, probably not. I'll just drown him. Yeah. Yeah. We'll never know. Never know. Nardo Polo. <laughs> Why are you so short, honestly? Like, you're literally a dwarf, IRL. How how are how is it possible for someone to be so short? You walk into the server and you smell short like i can smell your shortness from here like through the monitor i can tell in real life you are short i mean he says so <laughs> ghostbuster medic i'm not a huge fan of ghostbusters in general but i know you are so i will let you have this uh, what the fuck have i done to say that yeah i'm pretty sure you've praised ghostbusters at some point in the past i've never seen it what all right well my mind's playing tricks on me i know it was somebody in our friend group back at high school <laughs> that did it but oh on, yeah was it lbc it Maybe. I do know that is a pretty good representation of their outfits. That's about the extent of my knowledge. I'm neutral. Uh, chat, what do we do with this guy? Chat, do the ghosts win? Looks like it's going slight majority drip. Yeah. So he smokes sand. Like your chat? I cannot see a single redeemable thing about this loadout. Yeah, no, drown. Goodbye. I like how they're all crouching, like they're hiding in the brush. Yeah. <laughs> Gep the alien agent. Okay, that's cool. Combining the plutonodome with the arsonist apparatus. I don't often see the arsonist apparatus used well. I think uh, I've said that before on the channel, but that's a good use of it. That looks good, yeah. Especially with the context of being, like, in a forest. This definitely works well. Yeah, yeah, drip. Ah, the Spirit of Crackmas. It's been a few. He missed quite mm. a few. I feel like it's been four or five episodes since his last appearance, but he was yeah. a repeating customer at one point. I don't think it's been that long, but yeah. Chat, what do we do with this guy? Yeah, Maybe. that's a lot of people saying drown. I <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. Alright. <laughs> Max Zero, Trollos' strongest warrior. <laughs> what the... <laughs> I despise this. This is utterly and completely <laughs> cursed. What the frick am I looking at? Around that shit. That, what do I do about the this? Chat's going wild. Um, I'm so, just going to um, mentally shut down for a moment. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. My community is human. Treat them as human. <laughs> they are worthy of dignity and respect. The same as any other human. Are you sure about that? Anyone else. They're all the same. That's, They're still human. <laughs> They're worthy of dignity and respect okay anyways back to my aids community <laughs> Chat, what do we do with this? <laughs> what do we do with Nax Zero, Trollos' strongest warrior? <laughs> uh, they're saying permaban him. All right, SM, ban Trollos Zero, weakest. He is gone forever. We will never see him again. Until I unban him after the stream, maybe, but probably not. All right, mini Hades. <laughs> 
uh, Magical Mercenary, Himalayan Hair Shirt, Voodoo Cursed Heavy. I hate this. Can we ban it? All right. Who's left? Supposedly, there's a heavy around here somewhere. Captain Calcium. Huh. Captain Calcium. You look at that. I will eat chips. That's all you girls do these days. Eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> Captain Calcium. Of course, without the unusual, credit where credit's due, he remembered that. If he showed up with his unusual hat, I probably would have banned him. That was... He's always still looking for <laughs> Look at the description of the Calcium cap. <laughs> Chat, what do we do with Captain Calcium? This guy who was once a repeating customer on the channel, and then he dipped out for a while, and now he's just come back. Does he dip out or does he drip out? Wow. I just said that. <laughs> I've gone too far. I'm irredeemable. It's drip, yeah. I don't know. Uh, see. <laughs> All right. Drip him. There's that. And now. You have energy. The password is Bob. Capital B. Last way. Money. <laughs> I like how the moment I said that, there were suddenly just fewer messages in chat as people were going to type it. <laughs> and now all the people coming out that didn't make it in. Dang. Yeah, that was a lot of people that just joined the server in one go. Well, this is the last wave for the reason that we're at an hour 30, and I'd prefer to get done with this before we hit two hours, because I am going to be honest, not a huge fan of editing these videos. Editing them is pain. But yeah. <laughs> thank you for Cell Rat Crusher Rat Stompers. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's The weird. Collector. What the... The, the jaw moves. Animated pyro face? How? God damn. What? The wandering wraith does that? I was not aware that it did that. The wraith has jiggle bone. It's literally a jiggle bone. That's what it is. It yeah. is a bone it jiggles. Fair enough, yeah. Good for finding that out. All right, well, uh, yeah. Aside from that, decent loadout. I like the combination of the wandering wraith and the, whatchamacallit, the uh, specialized. Oh, also, anyone that wandered behind me during the course of the video, oh. or the stream, you're not making it in the video. Yeah, so this is a drip. Package of lies. I don't know. I had to ping this guy earlier to do his war attack in the Clash of Clans war today. Ooh. Although he did do it, I think it's a bad loadout, but what's that badge? Genuine Auspicious Automaton Assembler's Accolade 2022. What does that mean? Awarded to content creators of Moonlight MVM's 2022 event. Wait a minute. Wait, is this the guy during our uh, April Fool's MVM stream who used admin chat to tell Mac to aim for the balls? Was that you? That was him. Well then, uh, that is some increased lore. Uh, this guy, apparently, was the one who used admin chat during our uh, multi-hour April Fool's MVM marathon stream to tell Mac Bastard through the console to aim for the balls. Now we know who that is. That's gonna be a drip for lore. Not for loadout, though. The loadout was mediocre at best. Yeah. Oh, true. Someone in chat just made a good point. What did I say about people who pick up the intel? What did I say about people who pick up the intel? <laughs> if you touch the intel, you know what you have coming. Anyways, what's this a reference to? How do you pronounce that? Uh, Orskak? Something. I'm gonna have a stroke trying to Sounds German. That, honestly. Yeah. Walter Kovacs. What's the reference to? Watchmen? I am not that curious, and therefore, I am neutral. Spencer, what do you say? The load out uh, itself is right, but... Uh, yeah, me too, but for me, I don't care much. Then we will give it to chat. What do we do with the Watchmen? Seems neutral. Yeah. Then it will be to RNG. Let the co decide uh, well what a shame flying oh a u2 no. may 1st 1960 <laughs> do you get the uh, joke yeah would you like to share with the class from what i remember sometime around then a u2 spy plane crashed in soviet territory oh <laughs> is that one okay i i vaguely remember it's in like oversimplified this video, but mm, yes, today diplomatic relations will take a turn for the worst. All right, well, he just keeps shouting help. 1960 U 2 incident. On May 1st, 1960, a United States U 2 spy plane was shot down by Soviet air defense forces while performing photographic aerial reconnaissance deep inside Soviet territory. The single seat aircraft, flown by pilot Francis Gary Powers, had taken off from Peshawar, Pakistan, and crashed near Verlosk, present day Yekaterinburg, after being hit by a S 70. Dvina SA-2 guideline surface-to-air missile. Powers parachuted safely and was captured. So this is the one that caused that diplomatic relations thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was convicted of espionage and sentenced to three years imprisonment plus seven years of hard labor, but was released two years later due to a prisoner exchange with Soviet intelligence. Interesting. All right, well, that's our historical lesson for the episode. Yeah. Uh-oh. Gosh, darn it. Old. Like, all your hair is white, but then you just have this lush, 
flowing beard. How'd that work? Oh. I couldn't afford a <laughs> You couldn't afford that's, a white paint. That's fair. I mean, this is a poor mm. different round after all. Chat, do we give him pity points, or is there no mercy? All right, looks like slight majority is going in favor of Drip. All right, you win this time, old man. Bison Commander. He does not have the entire Dr. Lord Burke's victory pack. However, you for the bison. Holy he does God. have the Righteous Badge of Honor. Yeah, I think this is good. I like the yeah. combination of the Righteous Badge of Honor, whatever that actually is. It's clearly just a bison badge. He took the yeah. risk of ruining the uh, Dr. Grudbort's victory pack in exchange for including the medal, which is not a part of the pack, and I respect that. That's a good hustle. Yeah, that's a good. Okay, Panther Dude. Genuine Firefly. Poltergeist Power Jack. That's a pretty cool skin on that. I like how it has a sort of glowing effect when you look at it from certain angles. That's nice. But then Genuine Person in the Iron Mask and just the Firefly. I like the weapon, but I don't think the loadout is enough to redeem it. Yeah. The loadout's bad. No. Yeah. Average hey, KFC. Yo, the average KFC employee pays payday. That's so hey, cool. Pays payday? <laughs> Yes, they pay payday because uh, DLC and stuff, which they have money to do because they work at KFC. Uh-huh. That's what I meant to say. That wasn't a mispronunciation. I meant that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Drown yourself. Okay. Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> poopy tired of this crap dough. Creepy crawlers, poopy dough, roaming Roman. Each one of those individually looks all right, but combining them, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Zalo, hashtag save TF2. This loadout Ooh. looks like something we've seen before. Yeah. Oh, uh... that... I'm going to drown this guy. Look at that Jurati description. I feel like that's going to be a drown. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, uh... Be loco. Eh, I don't know. Sinner shade with the, the Yuri. Like, it's a very Russian hair, but the rest of the loadout doesn't look Russian. The hat and the facial hair is what I go with, but I use a different jacket. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning drown. Uh, fair enough, yeah. It's just not enough. Buffalo Brigade. Huh. So he has the full hibernating bear set and nothing else. I have to ask, why do you use the hibernating bear set? Give us a why. <laughs> Yeah. says because he wants to bring down the other clans. Okay, but here's the thing. The whole fashion clans theme, I established that because I wanted to see people have similar loadouts, not same loadouts. This is a set. Like, you can't have a hibernating bear clan because it's just a single set. There's no diversity. There's no variety to that. And on top of that, you haven't tried to customize it with anything else, despite the fact that you very well could have. I'm leaning drone. Fair enough. I, random gob trollos. I, Chat, can I ban this guy? Can I just ban anyone yes. who shows up with a trollos yes. loadout, yeah. honestly? <laughs> <laughs> yes, today we will murder. Goodbye. Well, actually, uh... Murder. Yeah, no notable custom names or description. He's murder. Comrade Bird. Fists of Stalingrad. His fists are rumored to have the impact force of Zarbamba. All right, let's test that theory. Oh. If you kill me in one shot, if you kill me in one shot... All right. <laughs> well then, he did it. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah. The rumors are true. It appears he has the fists of Zarbomba. <laughs> Gosh He's darn it. Okay, that's true. Gave you that Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's spike crab taunt RNG right there. Okay, present, present man. man. I'm leaning drown on this because he doesn't have the uh, the present, the friend that you can put on your shoulders, the little pet. That's, that's just fair. a present that bobbles yeah. back and forth. Instead, he has the uh -huh. snow sleeves, which doesn't make much sense. Uh, 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 aside from that, credit where credit's due, holiday head case, that's pretty good. But says, yes, he's aware it's June, but he spent all he has on this. Uh, yeah, it's still not enough. Sorry, combat oh, Gaben. <laughs> Tactical Gaben. Too close to other things we've seen. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, sorry. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> uh, well, given that's an unusual, and we've already established that any unusuals are banned, I imagine what I'm gonna do about it is ban you. Yeah. So, sorry. Oh, you just yeah. said in chat, come sit on Santa's lap. That's disgusting. Yeah, no. <laughs> Top five cool raccoons. This raccoon's pretty cool. This raccoon is pretty cool. This raccoon- NOT YOU! Anyways, uh, Robo Robin is here with the Ooh. engineer, the brain interface, and the virtual viewfinder. That's pretty cursed. Robo Robin. I don't know, I'm neutral on this one. Slide drip. Slide drip? Alright. Step. Oh no. Crazed bread cult- This is the third time today we've seen the crit cloak. That thing yeah. for the soldier. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good cosmetic, I like it, but- Three uh, times? We've seen a lot of it, yeah. Yeah, it's- I'm sorry, it's too excessive. Plus, crazed bread cultist, and then the only thing you have is the bread bite. There's not enough bread either. Granted, you couldn't have uh -huh. much bread for soldier, but still. Halo Reach Inheritor. That's not bringing up any memories for me. Is that supposed to mean anything? Halo Reach? Is that? Inheritor. Inheritor. Reach Inheritor. Like he reaches an Inheritor? Oh. Or like it's a it's, status or something? It's a rank in Halo Reach. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think that gaslighting is a little bit too far. Like, I do a lot of gaslighting with the Draper Drown series. I think it's a little bit too far to say that I don't know what Halo Reach is. Yeah, no. <laughs> If you don't know that, you just don't deserve to be hosted. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. I'm saying drip. <laughs> yeah, all right. Maybe not the Halo part. W. Trucker's Topper, Antarctic Researcher, plus that thing. This feels like the single most stereotypical pay-to-play engineer loadout I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. This is, these three combinations of items, I, wow, that's common. I don't know, I'm neutral. Neutral. Chat. Chat. <laughs> that's always what we eh. do. We just know what to do. Yeah, we just don't care. Leave it to chat. Okay. Okay, so enough people said drown for this one that we can... Yeah. Yeah, all right. Great Britain. Great Britain. Hmm. Uncharitable Neon Annihilator. The Apex Predator of Two Fort Sewers. The Diamonds. Oh, the, okay. I'm leaning drip on this one because you can see the diamonds through the mask and i wouldn't have expected that to work but somehow it does all right yeah fair enough fallout scout see here's the thing right i'm just seeing a big fat save tf2 sign because i have that <laughs> custom model yeah. so i don't know if this is quite fallout for me i'm not seeing too much what there would be like i can't pinpoint what there would be in fallout like what he's trying to go for standard raider probably yeah yeah i say drown yeah. i think real creative lee andrew archer is the last guy this feels like a history thing see what it is lee yeah. andrew archer Archer. Lee Andrew Archer from 1919 to 2010 was an African-American fighter pilot in the 332nd Fighter Group, commonly known as the Tuskegee Airmen, during World War II. Ooh. He was one of the first African-American military aviators in the United States Army Air Corps, the United States Army Air Forces, and later the United States Air Force, eventually earning the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. During World War II, Archer flew 169 nice combat missions, including bomber escort, reconnaissance, and ground attack. Archer claimed and was credited with four enemy fighter aircraft shot down, though disputes regarding this record arose after his death. Archer was one of only four Tuskegee Airmen to have earned three aerial victories in a single day of combat. Joseph Ellsbury, Clarence Lester, and Harry T. Stewart Jr. Interesting. So just an exemplary member of the Tuskegee Airmen, which is a very historically significant group during yeah, World War II. Good for that, though. I'm looking at his bottle. Why, why is his bottle, like, gray on my screen? I don't, you're drunk. Yeah, that might just be a client-side thing, but I'm looking at the bottle, and it looks looks great. Yeah, no, it's, it's brown. It's brown for me. That's really funny. All right. And really? I guess that is it. It is just us remaining on abandoned yeah. two fort. Oh, frick. That's an unusual. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the little hat just sitting there. That's good. There we go. I got a screenshot where it looks like you're eating the plant. <laughs> okay. So, hey, people are just talking about bribes again. Fine. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> the TF2 Phantom staring at all the empty promises on the table! That's good. I'm, I'm giving that a slow clap or. <laughs> Oh my. All right. Well, uh, gentlemen, this has been Drooper's Round 11. Thank you very much for watching. It has been somewhat amusing. Maybe not as amusing as previous ones, but it is still holding up. But I have an announcement to make. Gentlemen, the next Drooper's Round will be the last. And with that, I leave you. Good day, everybody. Uh, we are coming up on the 12th month. The series is going to end. What I wanted with this series is basically just to have something that could last me through the entire year. And we've done it, an entire year of a series. But all good things must come to an end. And alas, I must say, if I keep doing this forever, let me put it this way. You either die a legend or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And with memes, you either die fresh or become stale. I'm gonna be honest, if I end the series, it will find its way into TF2 history as one of the essential series. The next Dripper Drown will be the last, but after that, we're doing one more thing. One more thing that I'm not going to say outright what it is, but after Dripper Drown 12, do you remember the Honor Bound tourney? Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, people in chat, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm not going to include this in the video. Yes, I'm fully aware that wasn't an unusual. I'm including it as what I said so that it pisses people off. I've done that before with certain things where I just deny it certain things so I can bait out comments in the YouTube section. It's the funniest thing. You'll notice in the past three Dripper Drowns, whenever someone walks up with an Australian wrench, I always say, oh, that's a gold wrench. And whenever I say, oh, that's a gold wrench, because I know that's not a gold wrench, that's an Australian wrench. There's a difference. It always baits out comments and it is the funniest thing. Let me have this once. <laughs> All right, anyways.